Welcome to Authentic Japanese Reiki Channel. I am Reiki Master of Western Reiki and Reiki Shihan for traditional Japanese Reiki. Today, I would like to talk about Reiki Shi of Reiki. Reiki Shi means history in Japanese. So today, I would like to talk about history of Reiki. Reiki Shi. Some of you might think the history is nothing really important for healing ability or healing methods. But I think it is always nice to know the backstory of Reiki methods. Or if you are Reiki master and you are teaching Reiki to someone, it is again also nice to have the information in case you are questioned. And this year is 100th anniversary for Usui Reiki Ryoho. Also, this month, August 15th, is Usui Sensei's birthday. So I think this is the best timing to talk about Reiki Shi of Reiki. Knowing the history of Reiki, you will also know why there is Western Reiki and traditional Japanese Reiki. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Reiki was established 1922 in Japan by Mikao Usui Sensei. Sensei is a term in Japanese when you call someone with respect. Sometimes it is used as doctor or professor, but Usui Sensei was none of them. Usui Sensei was a secretary of ex Tokyo Mayor Shinpei Goto, and this is when he got so many connections with officers in Japanese Navy. Before the World War II, Reiki was really popular in both Japan and Hawaii. But tragedy happened. Japan went war with the whole world, including the United States, and there was Pearl Harbor attack. So, for Reiki to survive in Hawaii, it had to lose many concepts which remind the people Japan. Also in Japan, Reiki goes underground since after losing the war, we have new medical practitioner acts, which said only Western medical science is accepted to perform. So, traditional Japanese Reiki, which is more physical care, goes underground. And Western Reiki, which started in Hawaii, changed the form more to healing method and expanded to the world. That's why we have two different types of Reiki, one traditional and one Western. I, have, I use both Reiki and I love both of them so much. As long as I treat physical problems, I use traditional Reiki. When I do more healings, I use Western Reiki. Why traditional Reiki is better, to, better for the physical problem? It's because the concept of Byosen and how you use Shirushi for Byosen. So, in the future, I will make another video about Byosen and Shirushi. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this channel. I hope you come back again. Thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimashita. Mata o me ni kakarimashou. Bye-bye.